Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Joni Young here if you're new and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to paint this pretty lady walking into an archway, the pond, and some irises using some really pretty colors today. Keeping it simple and with a limited palette of purple, gold, and white. Hit subscribe and let's begin. I'm working on a 12 by 16 canvas. The following colors, titanium white, dioxazine purple, and gold. I'm going to start the painting by using a number 30 filbert brush. I'm going to get the canvas wet with a little bit of water. Okay, I'm going to come in with my gold first. I'm just going to spread it around. I'm going to leave this plain and just come around the edges. This is where our main source of light will be. Now once the gold paint dries, it'll look a lot more shimmery, giving it that beautiful, lustrous, metallic gold. And depending on where the light is hitting it or how much light there is, it will give a lot of life to the painting I'm going to gradually add just a little bit here for some reflections in the water. Okay, then I'm going to take white. And just go back and forth, side to side. The next brush I'm going to be using is a one inch oval mop brush. What I'm going to do is take a little bit more gold. My brush is dry, except for the paint, so no water is added pri prior to this. And just a little bit of that purple, so you can see when we mix the two together, we get a really pretty plum gold color, very soft. I'm just going to start with the top of the canvas here, just lightly pull and then tap so you get a few different looks and uses from this brush depending on how you use it. Mix up a little bit more. This time it's going to be a little bit darker, some more purple. And then a little pull. Tap, 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 pull. We're going to pull across gently, a little bit more gold. Create some ripples in the water. Remember to leave the very center bright white. Now, if you don't have any gold, you can use yellow ochre. You won't get that shimmery look, um, but it'll be uh, similar in color. Okay, loading my brush right up on the tip like this. And I'm just going to create some tight little swirls or some ripples in the water. And then come over top with some more gold, layer that. And then right down here, a little bit of purple and the gold without blending too much. I'm just going to tap, 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 letting that gold come out wherever it wants to and naturally does. I have a few little 
little flowers. I'm just going to scumble out what's left in our brush. Just lightly scumble that out around the edges and towards the bottom. And I'm going to take a little bit more purple and gold. I'm going to start tapping down an archway. And just keep tapping, tapping, tapping. And then it'll just naturally reflect down in the water, a little wiggly like this. Add a little bit more of that gold and purple. Tap, tap, tap around the edges and we'll come with this over top. So we've got this behind and then this in front. We'll be a little bit more generous and do another coat down here. Again, brush out, scumble out lightly what's in my brush, what's left. And I just want to add a little bit more gold now. Little touches of gold. I'm going to add a little bit more foliage up along here. Little taps and pulls. See how you can just slide your brush up and down like this and then come in and tap some branches and leaves. Now I don't know how much I'm going to be leaving. We're going to be coming over with the lady in a minute, the figure, but I just want to come in here with a little bit of water and let that paint lightly work out with my brush. And add another layer of gold in here. I really want the brightest um, white to show up. So I'm going to go over, apply this gold over top. Back over to my filter brush. And soften inside here. I'm going to take some of white. And I'm going to go over to uh, number two, Filbert brush. I'm going to take some of that gold and purple. And add some branches in here. And again, 
we don't know how much we're going to be covering up when we add our figure, but we need to have uh, some trees and branches going on back here that gives the sense, it helps to create uh, the feeling, the landscape and the setting that I want her to be in. And you can add little bits of moss hanging. And more gold coming down here. Love the way it mixes in with that white. Just makes a, an even softer gold, like just a pastel shade of it. Take a little bit of white and purple. I'll add a little bit of this, little dabs. Just to add a little something more here to break up any solid colors that we might have. This just helps to brighten up some areas. It'd be kind of pretty to maybe have some iris iris flowers down here so we just scoop down like this to like a rounded triangle and then a loop here and a few ruffly edges go around into a point there we'll take some more I'll take a little bit of white and just add a little bit of that. Let some of that purple work itself out. Make all those little wiggles. And we'll take our gold and add little accents in those irises so we can add a few smaller ones. We'll just make everything smaller. And then maybe some that are just buds. So whatever you want to really make it stand out. Just add a little bit more purple. And then pull and turn and twist. Don't forget to add a little bit of gold where we have that little bit of yellow, those pretty bearded irises. Just 
and I'll just take again a little bit of white wiggle wiggle I'm going to dab in a little bit of white inside the gold to make it a little bit brighter once it dries. Okay, I'm going to start coming in with my figure now. And I'm going to start with purple, gold, make a nice dark color here. I'm going to add her head right here. We're going to just start by coming in with round. So round oval and then sort of flat across the bottom is because we're going to take it over here, take it over here, and have it going down her back. So I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of water. We're just going to create this movement where it comes over like this. And then we've got her shoulder. arms coming down here so we're going to come right here and then her elbow we want to make it a little rounded and then bring it up and then her hand which is gripping her dress take just a little bit of this off and bring this in there we go so you can really feel safe and comfortable moving the paint around until you uh, get the look that you want And just play around with it as long as it's not too hot in your room where you're painting okay so her wrist and then her hand that's holding her dress and her dress will be gathered here so we're gonna have a bit of a shadow and then it comes down down here and we want to make this very filtered and the light filter through the lacy dress. So that's why I wanted to have the gold underneath first. I'm going to take a little bit of gold now and a little bit of white. There might be a little bit of purple in there. I'm just going to come around the edge here. Let's mix up some more gold, purple. We're going to scoop right here. Scoop and then flick up. We're going to have some lines like this. So this would be her shoulder, elbow coming down into her wrist, her hand gripping the dress. And then we can see just a little bit of her breast right there. But we're not going to see her her profile, we just got her hair 
wisping over this way, coming down her dress, the back of her dress. We'll make her hair darker after. We just want to go with this shape here. We'll go slightly out. And down here. We'll add a little bit more to her hair, more purple, so it's nice and dark. And really just for shadow, so it doesn't really matter what color you want your hair to be. It's gonna be in shadow here. So she might have blonde hair, red hair, brunette, whatever. And it just sort of blends in with the shadow on her dress. I'm going to create these little scoops because how she's pulling it up and how it's gathering, it would do that. I'm going to use a little bit of white with my purple and gold. And I'm going to add a little bit right here and on her shoulder. A little bit more white. Make this a little bit lighter. So it's going to be a cool filtered light going through, coming through from this side. So we're just going to scoop slightly. Her other arm is going to be holding that side up like we have this side. And we're just going to come in and add little bits, little hints of this light mauve color. We're also going to have some lines in the dress, folds in the dress that go down on an angle like this. And that's just going to be falling gracefully down here. And just kind of go out like that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more saturation and depth, mixing the gold and the purple together. And this is going to be darker down here. And her dress might just go right off the canvas. Just kind of blend in. We'll have her other arm come right here. So we're going to go diagonal, like how her hair is coming over here, we're going to add her arm here, a little bit wider and rounder here, like a long oval, and then a little bit thinner, and then her hands holding the other side of her dress. And then bring up her arm here where her shoulder would be. And then we can add 
a little bit more depth for her hair, get a little darker. Now the darker the hair, the more beautiful light filtering we're gonna get around her. Outline her arm here. And go up, around her shadow. a few little lines in here as well where we would see a little bit of gathering but it's kind of more on the other side so we're not going to see as much I'm going to add some water to my brush and make this next layer a little bit runny add white Add some right there, right below her arm. I'll sort of just outline there. I'm going to go right through. and just start filling in where the dress will be more layered and solid. So it's just in this area here that it's going to be that pretty light filtered look that we want. I'm going to add a little bit of gold. I like that gold in there too. scoop down here really low so I want this to really show up so I'm going to be using more purple here and we'll add a few little lines going down and just really more for uh, some more shadow in the shape back here just come around a little bit here And then we're going to start to come over, pull and twist, pull and twist. Just added a little bit of water to my brush just to loosen some of this up. We want these circular lines in here, and we also want to have these ones, these folds. And just add them on an angle like that. some more purple for her hair. We're not painting fingers, we're just painting little shapes here that suggest that she's holding the dress. And 
I'm gonna come in and add some more purple here now. Lightly pull. Just these sort of half rings give you that sense of where it's pulling from back here. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more purple and gold, a little bit darker. And anywhere else that I want it to, I want to create a little bit more depth. So right here where it's going to be tight and by her hands or her fingers. And then I just want to bring her hair down. I want to exaggerate it a little bit lower. Coming down, I guess, more into a point like this. I'm going to make it just a little bit rounder making it appear a little bit wider at the top there, just to balance it out. Okay, with a clean brush, I'm gonna take my gold, and my white, and I'm gonna mix them up, making a really soft, and sorry if there's any glare. I hope that you guys are able to see my color mixing on here with a shine from my palette, as well as the gold. It might make it a little bit tricky, but right now I'm just using white with gold to make a really, really light, soft color here. And I'm just gonna go around her figure. Oops. Oops, I accidentally picked up a little bit of purple, so I can just take that off. And if it's dry and I'm unable to take it off and I just go in and paint over it with that color I just color match so I want to make her hair look like it's glistening from the sun so I'm just gonna gently scumble around the edges of her hair like this I'm going to come in with more gold and I'm going to go in between those rings again. right down to the bottom like that. Just going a tiny bit over here. I still want to have that those cool purple filtering light shadows there, but I want to just balance it out and have a little bit of the, just a hint of that warmth. Just going to come in with a little bit more of this uh, pretty purple and white. It's going to make it look like there's some folds in her in her dress. Mm, but I think I might just prefer it a little bit more solid and less less folds Oops. 
a little bit of the light purple. And around there to give that a little bit of a glow as well. In between her arm. There, gotta add a little bit more of a, a shadow for her shoulder with a purple. So just alternating um, the purple and the white. See how pretty this light, light purple looks with the gold around it. I'm going to add just a little bit more purple and white here. A few accents. Adding a little bit of light purple there so her arm doesn't look so dark in that one spot. And then I'm just going to soften the outside of her arm here. Just make it gradually soften there. I think I'm going to come in and add a little bit of gold and white right in here. I feel like I need to let some light in right there. I'm going to take some more of my purple here. Just add an indication of some grass or flowers. A little bit of white liking the idea of irises in here. It gets kind of pretty and the colors all look, they're all similar. Well, the type of irises that I'm thinking of anyways. You could keep it simple and just do uh, three petals if you want. There's different, so many different uh, types of irises. So just purple scoop and loop around. And then we're not using any green, just gold, white, and purple. A little bit more gold. And I'll just add little dabs in here that will look so pretty when the paintings dry. And I'm just going to add a, a few more little folds. Coming with another layer in here, making this a bit darker. And maybe what we'll do is we'll have some steps here. So just 
add a few steps. So she can really step into this painting. Step into this pretty scene. So just with gold and purple for the shadow on the steps. Little scoop of each. And she can step right in there. I don't know, it's kind of kind of soft and dreamy like that. I think I might just leave it. I quite like this one. I hope you guys do too and you enjoy painting it and following along with me. Don't forget to give this video a like and leave a comment below. I really enjoy reading all your comments and questions. And of course, subscribe to my channel where you'll enjoy over 620 painting tutorials. So have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye everybody.